So, howdy, howdy, howdy. This is Jeff Ronnie, Boophile here. A little different video this time. I'm only going to do a little narration at the beginning here for just the first few minutes. And then we'll just let music play while you watch this female. This is a VPI Snow, which I produced in the first litter of Nexus Boas, which was... Wow, it was six years ago already, and she is just getting ready to have her babies. So last night, as I was uh, making my last rounds, thinking I'm going to go to bed, I noticed that this female was all stretched along the back wall of the cage in a series of little kinks. And I used to say S-curves, but it, that implies a more dramatic curve. Sort of like you'd see going up a mountain in San Francisco. <laughs> and that's not what it's like. It's, it's a very, very, a fairly subtle kinking all the way down the body. And typically the front end of the body is in these tight S-curves. While the female is getting ready for the big push. And you can see her. She is having contractions. Typically when they're having contractions, they locomote forward as they're having their contractions. Not always. But you can see waves of motion as she is contracting and squeezing the contents of her oviducts down into her oviduct and eventually out of her cloaca. That's the little pink pucker you see there. <laughs> pucker, that's a scientific term. You learn that in uh, med school. So at any rate, this female was bred initially by an IMG VPI, a hat anorthristic, but he ran out of gas and she hadn't ovulated yet. So as a backup, because I thought she would probably ovulate soon, I put in a Key West Motley Het VPI for backup. Thinking if he continued the activity, then she would ovulate and really was hoping for the IMG VPIs, snows and IMG VPIs, etc., etc. Would have been all visual VPIs had that IMG sired the litter. See that? See how up on the left side there, you see how the skin is gathering together? She is squeezing tightly there and then right where that big medallion is, there's a lump. That is the contents of her oviduct, so she is squeezing that down toward the vent. And if you're bored listening to me talk at about seven minutes into this video, the first baby comes. So you can fast forward to that point if you don't want to listen to me. Otherwise, uh, I'll just keep babbling and you can keep listening. So the sire of this litter was the Key West Motley uh, Het VPI. And it was a glorious litter, really, and the absolute best video footage I ever got of a birth, ever. Not not the most epic breeding, and not the crazy uh, craziest, you know, most historical babies of all time. We've all seen these babies before that she is going to have, but it shows the the uh, birth process just perfectly and shows what she does as she's giving birth the whole video lasts about a half an hour and uh, you can enjoy it right up until the bitter end if you want to i know i did so i saw her all stretched out kind of kinked up and then i grabbed i've got these really really short adjustable tripods and a little led light so the one tripod I mounted the LED light on, the other tripod I mounted my cell phone on. And I got all this set up and running before that first baby came out. Oh, there it is. There it is. See it? See him? He's peeking out at you. I thought, sure, it was coming out at that moment. But it wasn't. So <laughs> I still don't know what the babies are going to be at this point while I'm watching. But I, I've, I've done this many times, watched the uh, female give birth, uh, never with such a clear view of the action. See how she's pulling that skin up on the left? 
then there's a bulge in front of it. People that have bred their boas and seen them give birth have seen this before. Uh-oh. There is a bubble. Spoiler alert. You don't get to see the baby for a little while, but it sure looks like you're going to. Look at that. That membrane is unbelievably resilient. Uh, they typically don't seem to break from the aspen, which is really kind of pointy. Uh, it pretty much seems like it takes the baby pushing its way out to, uh, to break that membrane. Although sometimes the female will come back around with her tail and she'll be poking through the mess. I had one today, the day after this. I saw a female poke through the membrane on a baby. I'm sure it wasn't deliberate, you know, just instinctive to be waving that tail around. And more contractions. But she poked through that membrane. Look at that thing. That bubble is bigger. It looks like it's going to pop, doesn't it? Like a water balloon filled with water, but it's not water. It's, uh... I believe it's albumin, that's what I've always called it. It's the liquid that surrounds the babies uh, while they're inside their mom before they're born as they're developing. You can see blood vessels if you look close. And this baby is getting very close. Uh, the female's tail is going to go in the way. She is still squeezing. And I get the video of every single baby coming out. And now if you watch as the tail moves... Finally, coming into focus, when you get another view of this membrane, there it is. You gradually see it. Look at that. Like sneaking up on you in a horror movie. <laughs> well, this baby is double hat BPI snow, or double hat BPI simple recessive, and hat anarthristic which is another simple recessive. Together, they make a BPI snow. There's the first one, and there are quite a few more to follow. I think she had, I don't remember, 12 or 14 babies, maybe 15, maybe 13, something like that. But enjoy that. Enjoy the video, and uh, hopefully the music my daughter picked out isn't too annoying. If it is, just turn the music down and just watch. Great fun. I know uh, I enjoyed watching it, and I enjoy bringing it to you. Thank you. Have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video coming from Jeff Ronnie at the Bowfile channel coming soon.